I'm not going to lose you. And I swear to God that if I do, I will become some sort of green goblin-like individual. I never... That was unnecessary, Mr. Sandman. Wow, the air quality is phenomenal over here. Which is not something you usually say about New York. Ah, shit, we're playing Bayonetta now. Ah, he didn't like that joke. Must not have liked that change in 3 where they made her straight. Personally, I would just write myself a letter of recommendation. Like, what are they gonna do? Turn down the kid that was sponsored by Spider-Man? Because if Mysterio shows up at the NYU campus, you would better hope that Spider-Man doesn't hold grudges. So is Peter going to come up with a smart explanation, like, I saw the disaster and went to save Miles, or is he going to fumble it and lose his job because Peter Parker is never allowed to be happy? Cast your votes now, kids. It's probably the second one. I don't know. It looked like that guy had an Oilers jersey and I can't in good conscience save him. Personally, I think that Marco should have gone into improv comedy instead of crime. Because he's so good at yes, sand. Get it? Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all night. Tip your waitress. Try the veal. Your job is to protect these students. Not to abandon them. You're fired. It was the second one, folks. If you guessed anything else, you were wrong. Ref's moving a couple of inmates There's something wrong about this version of Peter, and I can't good? figure out what no. it is. But I'm gonna find out. Something just ain't right. You sure you're up for this? The question is, are you? <sighs> Let's see it, big talker. Harry Osborne oh, throws big... worst three-pointer ever. Ask to leave oh. Oscorp. Pete gonna heal the world that's what your dad wanted to do and in doing so he created a bioweapon that almost killed every single person in new york so maybe reconsider and there's this one guy i've seen him a few times and it's well it's going well now what are you asking me i'd like to have him over calling it right now he's gonna show up and be a villain I'm sure there's some Who haven't we seen yet? The lizard? Give you some privacy? Uh, no, chameleon? I came to meet you. Mysterio? Oh, she better not be hooking up with Mysterio. But if Theater kids are no good. Totally Let me tell you understand. firsthand. So that's just going to be Scorpion behind the door, right? Ah, shit, who would have guessed? Scarecrow ripoff Mark II, baby! Flying away with Martin Lee is really easy. The problem is actually the Lee scent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hold my calls. Tip your waitress. Try the veal. I'm running out of uh, end points for that joke. This photography shit is easy. Cool. Nice action shot of the drone. You capture their movement. You <laughs> there were no drones in that photo. Starting to wonder if you guys are even looking at these. Now he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> Every time Norman so, comes on screen, I expect the game think? to make some mild pass at the idea of him becoming the Green Goblin. I keep expecting him to look directly into the camera and say, I am going to become a Green Goblin. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. I was going to make a joke like, when are they going to make a gun that deletes capitalism? But that's just a regular gun. Harry, a moment, if you please. Also, holy shit, is that the lizard? Chance you can wait a sec. It'll be quick. Are you dating Miles, Mom? This is my friend. All I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. 
And it's my responsibility to save him. And that's why I'm going to summon a meteor to destroy the world and take down the Shinra Corporation. Well, that sure was a climactic end to that fight. Felicia, you have to stop. This is reckless, even for you. This is pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's also the closest that we're ever going to get to a Portal 3. And that saddens me. Oh. Wow, it sure is roomy in here. Love the turf ground, but I don't favor your chances on the market with this. Most prefer hardwood. Did you know sea lions can swim up to 25 miles per hour? Note to self, Sea Lion Riz does not work on Black Cat. Disappointing. Hello, I'm Quentin Beck, Master Illusionist. And this hey, is Betsy. you're not dating my mom, are you? And Cole, my I've talked about it enough that I'm just going to call it Goose's Law. The idea that any game can be improved by adding a one-off rhythm game at any point in the story. It doesn't matter why, it's always welcome in my house. I'll always take it in from the cold. I can't hear you. The baby could do it. Heard pyramids are the most stable structure. Let's test that out. Despite a lifetime of going to the stampede, every time I see this game, I only think of Darkman, the better Sam Raimi superhero film. All this food is too normal. Where's the deep fried pickles? Or the Kraft dinner ice cream? Or the pickle pizza? Now that I'm thinking about it, why do those vendors love pickles so much? Big Wheel. Isn't that like a Z-tier Spider-Man villain? He just rides around in a big wheel? I know you gotta pull out all the stops for the sequel, but that's really a pull. Who's next? The Hood? The Jackal? Is Miles' mom dating Big Wheel? I know Spider-Man doesn't kill, but I don't think those guys are living through that. I think I just sent those guys through the wall, which may have been overkill. I mean, I wanted to knock them out, not into another plane of reality. The world of this game is really starting to get to me because I just had the thought that J. Jonah Jameson will probably not have anything nice to say about this. The idea that you can just run into other heroes while out is such a cool idea. Can you imagine on a long enough timeline with this series, you're just swinging around and the Punisher shows up? That would rule. You can have that one for free, Insomniac, but the next one will cost you. And I'm not going to tell you my price. It's a secret. It's MJ. Bad news. Connors' house is crawling with hunters and the doctor's MIA. You're not going to make me do an MJ stealth sequence, are you? Honestly, they waited so long to bring back the stealth that I thought they'd given up on it. But no. Insomniac's relapsing into its bad habits again. Nah, I've been found out. Piss off. Okay, now leave me alone, puppies. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. I can't believe that worked. Subscribe for more premium sick stealth gameplay. They really didn't need to make Craven hot, but I respect that they did. The Final Fantasy VII treatment. What do we got? Shit, that rules. What about you, Peter? Noir? Okay, that's it. We're never using the defaults again. The game really said, You've been having too much fun. Let's make all these enemies invisible. You love that, right? 
It's bullshit that they don't let me overwrite the symbiote suit, but at least I get to keep the frame rate effect. So it just looks like Peter's glitching around due to a router or switch issue. I feel like Spider-Man can fight a tiger. If Kiryu could fight two, then Peter can fight one. He figured that out quick. Guess this suit's useless. Do you think businesses in this world have superhero insurance? Because it doesn't really count as an act of God. Unless it's Thor. So how the hell is the claim for this building going to go down? God, that Venom Punch is never not cool. It should be pink, green, blue, green. Or not. Maybe three? Okay, that's a terrible password. I'm not going to say that this is a bad scene, but never has a scene existed more to be shown at a PlayStation press conference than this. So epic. So manicured. So... Oddly disingenuous. What are you doing, Uncle Aaron? Really hope this isn't what it looks like. He better not be dating my mom. See, that's the problem. There are so many evil people in New York, and they could all be dating Miles' mom at any given time. No way. Oscorp has a lab in the sewers? This can't be right. I already played all the Resident Evil games. The boss fights in the first game, I'm not going to say they were bad, but they were just web up an enemy and punch over and over again. So these fights are a very welcome improvement. Even just adding a parry works wonders. At the point where you're using military planes and giant crossbows, is it even really hunting anymore? I feel like they should have a new name for that, because... You're as far removed from hunting as possible. It's hunting in the same way that glamour camping is being a rugged frontiersman. What about Harry? Sorry, can we do this tomorrow? Just so beat from Blizzard Rag. I always thought it was funny that sometimes the symbiote makes Peter really easily aggravated or impatient, and sometimes it just makes him kind of a shitty boyfriend. Like, he can't just be an asshole as a superhero. He also needs to be a bad romantic partner to boot. He can't just lose his temper. He also has to skip foreplay and eat from the container that clearly had your lunch for tomorrow in it. Man, people really didn't care for the stealth sequences in the original. How do we fix that? I don't know. Have you considered giving her a gun? I need that suit back. I figured it out. His neck is too Wait. thick. He's got a real tree trunk up there. That's a BC Redwood with a Twink's face on it. What are the odds they're going to make me fight Lee? There's no escape. God, what a novel twist. I'm sure to you it wasn't. Uh, what do you want? You say that sarcastically, but that feels like the bare minimum for killing Miles' dad. Even if you don't really mean it. We interrupt this Spider-Man game to give you that big bitch from the beginning of Kingdom Hearts. Ghost Dad. Oh, I love Sidney Poitier. My favorite superhero. I'm going to lose May's house because of them and... Craven. Hmm, that's probably not a good sign. I think I just heard Candyman talking to me. Your followers treat you like some kind of god. I would hope not. The Bible says you can't worship any craven idols. Get it? Oh, I knew they made him hot for a reason. 
Once you realize that you can just hammer the parry button and don't need to actually care about the timing, every boss just becomes the easiest thing ever. Why fight legitimately? I'll just parry everything. It's like Dark Souls 1 all over again. Damn it. I got rid of the symbiote and they still won't let me dress as noir. There we go. Let's go, baby. My favorite hunting tool, plastic explosives. Oh, well, shit, I guess we know who's not coming back for the sequel. He's gotta be under that I just noticed that the mission is called The Trouble with Harry. Way to reference a C to your Hitchcock film, guys. What's your next one going to be called? Waltzes from Vienna? That's a joke for no one. Literally no one will care about that one. Listen, I know that Venom is running around the city and threatening millions of New Yorkers, but you know who's the real threat that needs to be dealt with right now? Mysterio. You say that like it's a good thing. That leaves me infinite faces to punch. We need to get that thing off you. Hey man, I'm poor. I can't afford new tables. Don't feel special anymore. What? No! You're stronger than me in so many ways! You've been single-handedly holding our lives together! Spider-Man 2 asks the question. What if you interjected your big emotional love interest conflict in the middle of a scene where you also beat the tar out of your partner? And I'm conflicted on saying it's cool because domestic assault is never cool. But this is domestic assault for the right reason. Alright, come on. Where's Lee? It's just so hard to predict sometimes, you know? I think... Oh, hey, Ock. Who's next? Lizard? Ah, Vulture. Sure. Oh, come on. Remember that stage transition in Injustice where the Arkham Asylum roster shows up to beat the shit out of you one by one? This is starting to feel like that. Come on, man. I just got to put the noir suit on. That suit's not an alien, is it? Miles, what the hell are you wearing and how do I change you out of it? Wait. Okay, now we're back. Thanks. It's a lot better than the last one. I was going to make a joke about how the game needed to squeeze in one last Mary Jane stealth mission, but honestly, this feels a lot like a Resident Evil 7 DLC, so I'll allow it. Please don't do the bite. Oh shit. Did a command grab so strong it became a stage transition. I can't hate on that. You dumb bitch, you better not be growing wings. I hate it when I'm right. Those look sick as hell though. That's a top tier Venom design. Very good. I can't even... I take it back about hating when I'm right. I like those. I don't want to hear anyone say that the gay subtext here isn't existent. Does I remember when we rode bikes together while listening to Cigarette Daydreams? I didn't even make a joke about that at the time, but it makes a lot of sense in retrospect. Oh, there he goes. Little known side effect of the symbiote is uh, wall hacks. Okay, it's cool that Harry lived, but he still has like crippling bone cancer, right? We're preventing the inevitable by 
like a couple months at most. Why? I swear, it makes me so mad. I just want to turn into some kind of green goblin-like creature. Get the G serum ready. Oh, they're actually doing it now. That's a very good game. Manages to take everything from the original and the Miles spin-off and build upon it. As all good sequels should. You know, the combat's better. I noticed the music a lot more. And it just feels a lot more varied. It's not a game I think I'll ever play again, but it's very good. And I'll definitely check out any DLC that happens. Alright, show me the evil person dating Miles' mom. Hi. Miles, Haley, this is Albert. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. I don't know who that is. My daughter, Cindy. That might just be some guy. 